We're playing around with a couple of different things in this video, so we're basically going to make a patch for Fine Ape. So Fine Ape is a dude that hangs out on Midnight Range, TM's, Sunday Night Chats. He's got this little robot buddy that hangs out with him and helps him promote Second Amendment uh, channels and, and shows that are on. And earlier, well, I guess late, last week... Uh, we had a promotion over at the Gear website store that if anyone purchased uh, stuff, they could get a cartoon made of something and Fine Ape purchased some things over at the store. And one way we could say thanks is to make a cartoon of the little robot. And that's what we're seeing here on the screen is during the live show last Friday, uh, we were live for like six hours and... I think in the, towards the end of that show, we, uh, or Fine Ape grabbed some stuff from the store and saw that he purchased it. So I jumped over uh, to Midnight Range uh, TM's YouTube channel and scrolled through until I found a show that Fine Ape was on and he had the little robot set up. And then I found a good still image, or at least one I could use grabbed that still image and brought it over into Adobe Illustrator. We created a layer and uh, put a couple of copies of that screenshot down and trimmed it down so we could just have the robot. And then uh, faded one of them out so I could uh, basically trace over it and then put the other one next to it for reference. And then started to, uh, to create a second layer and started to draw or trace over the robot to make this little cartoon outline. Then now I'm going back and filling in on a middle layer uh, the different colors and stuff. So once that was all finished and it was looked like the little robot, we uh, added a little circle around it to give it a shape so that you could use it as a logo. Uh, and then we saved it in a couple of different ways and then sent that to him. And that was a thank you for purchasing stuff at the Gear website store on Friday. So he had a chance to see us do this live and comment on it and you know we had a conversation going this again took this was probably an hour or more farting around with it and then came up with this uh little cartoon from it now we sent that to him in an email so that he could use it but what he didn't know is i also took it over to the embroidery software and now what we're doing is taking it into the embroidery software and again using the image that we created as the first layer and then using that as reference and then drawing on top of it little embroidery pieces. So basically the way that you, at least the way that I assemble an embroidery file is to create these little shapes on top of the image and to build those shapes up with different colors and in order so that then, you know, the, the finished uh, end product is a thing that we can turn into a patch. So, uh, we create the file here, and I did this uh, off air so that it would be a bit of a surprise, and recorded it with the screen share software, uh, the screen capture software, and then brought that software into or that file that that screen capture turns into a video file, brought that into the software here, into the video editing software, and we've compressed all of these files down to about 2,500 times their speed. So. Uh, most of these processes took an hour or more, and then when we when we shrink them down or speed them up times 2,500 or 2,500 times faster, it brings those hours down into about two or two minutes or so. Now I haven't edited these down just to give you the full um, effect. I guess if we really wanted to abbreviate these, I could trim these these. Uh, fast forwarded versions even more so that they're uh, manicured down to even less time but I left them full uh, so that you'd see kind of the unedited raw uh, time it takes to, to work on these so once you have an embroidery file uh, the next step is taking it over to the machine and and I decided to leave the the video run uh, it does two things for me it lets me it's sort of like a stopwatch having the video file or the video running the whole time, I can tell by the length of the video how long it, how long it takes to sew out this patch. Now this is not a patch for production or anything. In fact, I'll never do this one again probably. 
as you can see the sewing machine is starting to to die it's losing its its uh, ability to keep calibrated and it's a it's a consumer machine it's really made for grandmas to put you know Winnie the Pooh on the grandkids towels and stuff it's really not done made for production and it's just wearing out so it takes a lot of effort to keep the thing going you have to really pay attention to it now somewhere around here the power went out the power went out on the machine and that's super frustrating you have to start all over and of course the reason the power went out is because it was glitching and i'm working on trying to figure out if there's a sensor that's covered or if it's a something that's old and not lubricated and binding and that's causing some sort of an issue so when the power went out i had to turn it back on and then load the files and everything back in but you're never guaranteed unless you really do this well unless you're smart about it and i'm not uh, you're never guaranteed to get right back on the same place so i was about an hour into this two hour something so out altogether i think and uh i got the whole orange part done i had gotten some of the trim parts done and then the power went out on the machine so i had to turn everything back on hope to get it close and i didn't get it very close in fact if you look real if you look at the finished product uh, you'll see that there are some errors on it and that's because it didn't go back on to the exact same zero let's say so uh started to sew again and uh, with new needles and blowing all the sensors off you have to go in there and blow air on all the different sensors and lube everything up uh, it ran a little bit better and this whole thing like i say it was closer to two hours i think to, to sew this whole thing out now when i'm designing something for a one-off like this i understand that i must change colors a lot so this one has quite a few colors in it uh, i think if i would have done it again i would have used a different color background instead of the white but uh, i only have so many colors of background and uh, the white seems to sew the best so when this was all over i went back to the first video uh, where we created the whole thing and i downloaded it and that's what we're watching here is me download that video i'll shove it into the video editing software and that's sort of watching the beginning of this video get built so that's the end of this video is the beginning of it being created let us know in the comments what you think of the video and of the process I want to thank Finate for the financial support, for your support of the community, and your for, for your support of our projects. Uh, thanks everyone who buys things at the Gear website store. It keeps our projects online and growing. And let us know in the comments what you think. Until next time, thanks for watching. The guys and gals at GunWebsites.com encourage you to take a CCW class every year, practice at least once a month, and carry every day. Thanks for watching GunWebsites.